In today's The Behind the Rush story, we turn our focus from the contestants to a talented group of young people who work for ICS. They apply their skills to present every single episode of China Rush and Behind the Rush stories with the highest quality. They are the ones bringing magic to your screen. Sore wrists and bleary eyes. You may call this film editor syndrome. Confronted with a sea of footage and tapes, just how do these editors carve out a fantastic 48-minute episode? The editors of China Rush give you an indication of the workflow. Once we get the footage in, we ingest it on our hard drive. And then that's handed off to the system editors. Five assistant editors uh, who will then start to go through footage. Uh, one of those on the hard drive to either me or Dalton. It comes to me. And we start fine cutting and polishing the story. Music, sound effects, dialogue, cleaning, and it will also get sent to color. From filming through to final tape probably takes about two months. While mixing and matching Chinese culture and foreign contestants, China Rush preserves the original Amazing Race formula. Amazing Race is a format, it's a standard that they've done for 16 seasons. We just tried our best to honor it. It's the same show, same format, same game, same rules. The ICS post-production team ensure highest quality for every episode. And there is another talented group dealing with a mountain of footage. While the China Rush producers maintain the Amazing Race format, which has been done in 16 seasons, the Behind the Rush stories offer some surprising variations. Usually in each episode, I'm in charge of the recap. We get a lot of behind the rush scenes involved, and we tell you how the camera crews and the on-field, how do they work, and uh, hopefully give you a bit of the, um, like the secret to review right? behind the scenes. I am mainly responsible for editing winners time and also collect all the videos from all of our editors and put them in assemble line. Although our program lasts only 12 minutes, we have everything in it. Good music, faster pace editing and a lot of computer graphics. We see different sections in behind the rush, like we have certain winners time and uh, also many different parts. It reveals the um, very exciting that happen behind the rush. Actually, one 48-minute episode of China Rush is usually cut for more than 100 hours of footage. So let's take two minutes to retaste the drama in Dujiangye and Chengdu. Here, we finally got a new winning team, and the ever-victorious Charlie and Rachel were almost out. On the last episode of the Amazing Race China Rush, teams competed again in Chengdu. Charlie and Rachel, champions of the previous leg, got to leave first for the Panda Breeding Center. However, Rachel cleaned the wrong stack of bamboo and carried the heavy load all the way to the Panda enclosure. So I took the wrong bamboo and I wasn't too happy about it at all. You're f***ing kidding me, right? <laughs> No, I'm not going. You're going back. Ray, you're wasting time. Go back. Eventually, Rachel had to go back and clean the right bamboo. The whole frustrating process, including carrying 10 kilograms of bamboo and running up and down, left her drained and numb. I can't even feel my arms. Struggling emotionally and physically had a dramatic impact on her performance. It was a bit distressing to see, uh, to see Ray, uh, you know, so upset and, uh, you know, eventually crying. Um, so, yeah, those kids, I think, had a really tough day. Molly and Sarah, in the meantime, were catching up. Molly quickly finished the roadblock tasks, and through quick thinking and language fluency at the ticket office, they got in the earliest coach and made it first to the next location. Face detection or face detention? Among hundreds of pupils, they managed to find the correct one within 15 minutes. Rick and Josh were right behind. They tried writing Chinese characters between the detour tasks, but switched back to looking for the child. Their steady progress secured their rank. Although the roadblock task required exceptional physical strength, that was no problem for the mum shells. They maintained their high standards. Being the last to check in at the pit stop of the last leg, Naresh and Deepak quickly finished the speed hump and moved on. So we asked all the kids to smile. 
So when this might, oh, you are the one come. <laughs> the heart pumping task was always at the end. Surviving that turbulent raft ride, Sarah and Molly got to the pit stop first. <laughs> 